Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jen and this is Faraby and today we're going to talk to you about Rex Specs versus Doggles. So this is the original Doggles and this is the Rex Specs. So let's talk about the Rex Specs first. So the Rex Specs, they come in several different colors um, as far as the plastic part goes as well as the lens color. Each set of glasses comes with two lenses so you get the one Generally, it's one clear and then one that it's tinted or color, like this is the rainbow lens. So this is the other lens it came with. The way that you change it out is you actually just pull it apart right here, which is going to be difficult because I have a helper on my lap. But you actually just pull it apart like that and see the lens comes out like that. And then you can just change it out. We're not going to change it because these are the lenses we prefer. But they're super, super sturdy and hardy. So they're super easy to put together and um, you know change out the lens if you need to. The plastic part, we have black, but of course it comes in several colors as well. I think they have like five or six color options and that part is super sturdy. The lenses are super sturdy as well, but I wasn't sure about pulling it apart like that. Like that kind of scared me whenever I looked online to see how you had to do that and I realized you had to pop it apart. It really made me kind of feel like, ooh, that might not work out well, but it actually does. It holds up really super well. Um, and the way that these go on your dog, so it has a fixed strap underneath, and then this part right here, the part um, that goes to kind of underneath their ears but behind their head, it is a clasp. And Fairby, you wanna put them on and show? Let's sit up tall so we can put our sunglasses on. And so this is how they go on. So you just put their nose through this little part on the bottom, goes like that and then obviously if you have a long haired dog you want to make sure you pull their hair up you know don't don't get it in their eyeballs so you want to put it underneath their ears so pull their ears up and snap it behind that's it and I'll insert a clip of her running in them and stuff she loves her sunglasses um, she would prefer to wear her sunglasses most of the time whenever we come in the house I have to make her take them off I guess I don't have to I make her take them off but she like will run if <laughs> If she has her sunglasses on and we come inside and like I take her leash and collar and stuff off of her first, she'll go like just, you know, hang out in the house and want to keep her sunglasses on. So she really likes them a lot. Um, so let's take them back off so we can show them the rest of the, the information about them. So they're fully padded right through here, which I don't know if you can tell. You know the idea? Okay. So they're padded in through here. This part up here is a mesh type of material. So it keeps like, um, you know, particles of stuff from going in, but it lets air circulate through. So that's awesome. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a mesh, but then there's several layers of it. So it's not just like one little piece of like mesh where it's like cheap. It's like super, super nice. It's layers in through there. So even if there was like, um, maybe like dust or something flying around, this would likely catch a lot of it. So Rick Specs does specify that it is 100% UVA and UVB protectant. They also had something that was very surprising on there. They had an impact resistance statement. And I never even thought about this for your dog. Um, of course, I knew that it would, you know, keep stuff from flying in their eyes, but I never thought about impact. And so it said that they have a ANSI Z87.1-2010 rating. And so I didn't know what that was, so I Googled it, and apparently that is something set in place by OSHA. That means it protects against impact for like, obviously debris, flying, welding, cutting, and also chemicals. Now, I am going to just put a little caution right here. Because of the vents at the top, I don't know that that would um, actually do for chemicals or not. So if you're taking your dog around chemicals, you probably have other concerns as well, <laughs> but definitely make sure that this actually does meet that because of that. But that is what that code typically means according to OSHA. So that was really cool. Let me show you how it's packaged really quickly too. I don't know if that really matters, but you know, just, just for the sake of it. So whenever you receive them, it comes in a box like this and then it comes in, they were actually in this little, uh, little drawstring bag. Um, but you receive a pair of sunglasses and then you get two lenses. And so the other lens that we chose was the clear. And it looks like this, which I don't even know if you can see. But then the pouch, on the inside of the pouch, there's two compartments. So there's one compartment over here and one compartment over there for your lenses. And they're awesome. We love them. Um, she uses these pretty much exclusively at this point because we like them a lot. 
So to me, the big benefit of this particular style is that it is one solid piece. So there's no fidgeting around to have to like make sure it's over each eye individually. It's a solid piece, so it's not gonna get moved and get in your dog's eyeballs. So the majority of dogs will end up with eye problems by the time they're eight. And a lot of that can be prevented by just protecting their eyes from stuff. Obviously, there are some things that are genetic that could happen, but a lot of the reason is from sun damage, um, things getting in their eyes, them getting poked in the eye with something. Um, there's a lot of things that happen to dogs' eyes because, you know, they're just out there and no one protects them. So I thought that was crazy. I didn't realize the majority of dogs would have something wrong with their eyes by the time they were eight. And most dogs live, you know, you're thinking 14, 15 plus years. So that's almost half their life that they could have eye damage. That's crazy. And if I can prevent that for her, I obviously want to do that. I want to keep her as safe and her eyes as healthy as I can for as long as possible. If I am protecting my eyes, then I want to protect hers. Like it's, to me, it's a bunch of crap not to. Like she's, you know, a being, she's a living being and her safety and health and all that stuff is just as important as mine is. So I'm not going to treat her as less than and not give her sunglasses. Um, also, just like you wouldn't put sunglasses on yourself and not your child because you're, you know, you're there to protect them. Like they can't choose that. So it's, it's totally up to you to protect them. So now let's talk about the doggles. So the doggles, um, they come in a package. It's just a clear little package with a snap on it and perfect. It's a storage case. You can see what it is. It's awesome. The doggles also have interchangeable lenses. They don't come with a second set of lenses, but you can buy more lenses as you want. Um, so there is not a storage option in this for extra lenses. And the way that you change the doggle lenses out is you just push them up and they come out like that. And they're just individual. Um, and they have a ton of color options as well. So doggles has a lot of the plastic color options and then a lot of lens color options. So the way that doggles work, they do have rubber stuff right here. This one has foam. This kind of has like a rubber on it and it has vents on the side right here. So this is air vents on the side. You see, these are much lower profile, like a much smaller sunglasses. So the way that these go on is, it's, it's not any clasp or anything. So all it is, is just a strap that goes under their chin and their nose would go in this section and then this goes behind their ears. And I'll make Fairby demonstrate in a moment. Um, but this is something you actually have to stretch out to put over their, you know, their head every time. And because of that, it causes damage to the product over time. And you can see that our elastic is stretched out, but you can see that there's like some wear and tear on the elastic. It's just from it being stretched out to go over her ears and hair a million times. This was her first pair of sunglasses. Um, and we used them, we probably got them last September. So we use them daily like anytime we went outside from September until April. And they still look really great. The only thing that I do not love about these and why I even went for the Rec Specs and tried them out at all is because the shape of these, even though I think this is a cute sunglass, um, I really think this is super cute on her. Like I like the low profile and it being individual little eye things, eyeglasses. If she ever um, would like scratch or anything or like lay down or whatever, this would shift a lot easier because it is lip profile. So it would cause it to shift. And there were a few occasions where this actually kind of got pushed into her eye a little bit. And I don't know that it actually hurt her. I don't know that it wasn't just maybe a hair in her eye in general that day that would have been there anyway. That may have been why she was trying to scratch was because she already had a hair in her eye. But basically the day that it got pushed into her eye the first time, I noticed whenever I took her sunglasses off of her that her eye looked like it had been like bothered a little bit. And um, so it kind of made me feel like this was gonna cause damage, possibly. And so I just didn't know if I was, you know, am I trying to prevent damage by putting something on her, but then I'm causing damage. So that's why I kind of looked for the rec specs and that was really the only complaint I had. Um, but we end up getting the rec specs and liking them a lot. Demo dog. All right, so the way these goes on. Um, so her nose is gonna go through this bottom strap and then this is gonna go behind her ears. So it just goes like this. And as a poodle owner, I will say that this kind of 
bugged me because of her hair. Like it wrecks her hair whenever we do this. So this is how these ones fit. You see, you have to do a lot more adjusting to actually get them right over her eyeballs. I don't love these as much. And I can even see, cause I can see her eyes in here and I can see she's squinting on this eye over here. So I don't think she likes them as much either. And also she's not as comfortable. She's like leaning back like she's like, mm, these are kind of not that great. Um, but sit up so we can take them back off. So that's how they go on. They're also, once again, super easy to get on and off your dog. I'm gonna take them off of her because she doesn't like these ones as much. There you go. So, yeah, we don't like those ones as much, do we? No, they do weird, mama. I feel like they're really about as easy to put on. The only thing is, if you have a dog with long hair, this like whole slide over the top of the head situation really, really is kind of not the best. Um, but then the other thing is, like I said, they do shift and go in their eyes, where this is a big solid piece and there's no way, even if it shifted from how big this is, it's not gonna go in their eyes. Like it's just not, it's too big. So from that standpoint, Rex Specs wins hands down. Doggles on their website, it says that they have 100% UV protection. That's kind of it. Um, it also says they're breathable, which we already talked about, but that is about as far as they go, as far as safety goes. It doesn't say if these are shatter proof. It doesn't say anything um, else really, other than they are UV protected. But it doesn't say if it's UVA or UVB, so I'm not sure. Um, there was nowhere to really find that information, so I'm just gonna say UV because that's what they say. So you're probably wondering how much these cost. These cost $25.99-ish. I'm sure that you can spend more on them depending on the design and also depending on um, you know the size. I think they are priced maybe based on size as well, so the, the bigger sizes are a little bit more money, where these are $79.99. $79.99 is a lot to spend on dog sunglasses. I totally understand that, and honestly, Whenever I had these, I thought, you know, why would I spend that much on them whenever I can get them? And kind of have the same idea, still protecting your eyes for less than half the money. These are a superior product by far. There is absolutely, it, this is hands down a million times better. I mean, this, this will get you by and this is great. And this is totally better than nothing. Like absolutely better than nothing. You know, you're still protecting their eyes, but this is kind of a flawed product to me after I see this one. And in case you're wondering, both of these do allow for your dog to open their mouth, eat, drink, bark, whatever they want to do with the sunglasses on. So one more thing about the Rex Specs, um, it says that they can swim in these. And because the way it's designed, that it's quick draining so that it wouldn't leave water in their eyes, I didn't see that on the doggles one. Um, there really isn't any way for the doggles to drain other than this hole right here. And it looks like that would not be quick draining at all. So I'm just gonna say you probably shouldn't let your dog swim in doggles. Um, but this, the mesh portion, it goes all the way here. So there is a lot more area for something to drain out. And then if you can see on the inside, because that part is raised up, so this right here is actually open still with a mesh. So it could, you know, drain the whole entire thing really quick. If you're a type of person who's taking your dog on, you know, on boating trips, the beach, the lake, whatever, ponds, whatever you guys do, this would probably be the one to pick for that as well because it does drain and they can't swim in it. And honestly, I think the fit is just better. Um, this right here does not stretch. There is a clasp like we talked about earlier, but because of it not stretching, if there were water in there, it would just still hold to their head rather than being tipped off. Where if you think about how water gets and stuff and how it makes it heavy, I think with these, if they did get waterlogged, because this is elastic on the whole entire thing, I think it would just like weigh them down. All right guys, thank you so much for joining us today. I think that's all the information we had on these two products. I hope this has been super helpful for you and leave a comment, let me know how you currently protect your dog's eyes, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this type of content and we will see you soon. Bye guys.